Okay, we're still in the pre-move move and the damn HCTC. But don't you hate moving? Tell the truth. I hate moving. Okay, baby's tied up here. So, HCTC people can come in and out without her jumping on nobody. She can bark, but she can't touch him. Uh, yeah, so um, the, the guy's been here. The first guy's been here. Now his helper's in and out, too, uh, since, I don't know what time it is now, uh, a little after 8, 8.30-ish. Um, so I already had, you know, I had stuff, all, a lot of stuff here. He's pushed some of it. He had to push some of it into the bathroom here. He's got the ladder here uh, right under the damn, uh, you know, attic area. Now I've, I've got to move this bag here because he's going to tear my shit up here. So, uh, and I can't hardly get into the bathroom. I guess I'll be peeing in my bucket. Uh, I do have an emergency bucket, you know, so, uh, cause squeezing in and out of there, I've already had to do it a few times, squeezing in and out of there, it's a freaking pain in the ass. So, um, I'm doing the best I can to kind of get things, uh, again, you know, oh gosh, whatever. So anyway, I'm not happy right now, uh, y'all be safe out there and I'm doing the best I can to like stay, uh, you know, kind of like not lose my cool or whatever, but, um, uh, hey, you know, oh well. Happy Monday, everybody. Uh, it is Monday. Yeah. Monday. So, uh, movers will be here uh, three days, two days, three days. I don't know. Anyway, um, with the big stuff, you know, they'll be, they'll stop at Clay Street, the studio, get some things, and we'll go straight to the Rivers Hill, River Hills apartment where my husband has had his stuff with his first wife for a long time. And anyway... We're bringing some of the big items there. There's no way we could bring all his stuff here. It just won't fit. So we're still looking at storage and selling things, selling books and donations and, you know, all this. So something's going to go along this wall. Maybe the bookcase. Maybe um, my uh, fireplace heater. Or that may go in that corner over there. I got to get that empty and ready. I've been trying to open a baby's uh, kennel so I could put her in there. And it's got a broken lock. I'm having a heck of a time messing around with that. Uh, obviously, I've got a few things uh, up here in the kitchen on top stuff, top shelves. Uh, things on inside some of the bottom cabinets. I've got a lot obvious to do. Here's a box of stuff I'm starting for my friend, Miss Nicole, a teacher went from uh, fifth graders to kindergarten, and she's kind of fit to be tried. <laughs> Tie dyed, have fun, all that good stuff. So I got some uh, crayons and and other th things that I had kind of stockpiled a little bit. I got more stuff I gotta find, cause you know I used to run a nursery at the Hunt United Methodist Church. Uh, off and on for some years, and it's a really small congregation, old congregation, so there's like really almost no children, but uh, little ones, preschoolers, babies, but every now and then visitors would come, bring grandbabies, great grandbabies, whatever, and they could bring them to the nursery. I was always there ready. I was always there on the ready, and I always had little things to play with. And anyway, again, y'all have a good one. I'll talk to you later. Hasta la vista. Uh, the uh, uh, Saranara, um, Kapish, uh, Assalamu Alaikum, uh, whatever, or, or is that just hello? Anyway, um, uh, pandemic, uh, to vaccinate, not to vaccinate, to educate, to meditate, to hesitate, to I ain't hesitate, I made a decision, I'm not doing it, okay, I just, you know. Let me go. Oh, yeah. Let me go get my vitamin D3 and other supplements. So talk to y'all later. So long for now. That's it. Uh, I'll be back. God willing.